Look at this wheel. The text is so small that only the people with the best eyesight can barely possibly make out what this wheel's options are. This wheel contains every core set, side set, speed duel set, box set, structure deck, starter deck, and much more. Every episode, my buddy Evan and I will each be catapulted to a completely random time in Yu-Gi-Oh! We will receive something completely random and duel at the end of every episode, upgrading our decks and band lists with every episode. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Randomized series. Episode 5. So, Evan might have invoked cards now, but I have rank 4 Xceeds and a Summoner Monk. Let's see what I get next. Oh man, I'm excited. Ooh, one of the Battles of Legend sets. Hero's Revenge. Let's have a look at it. Okay, first off, I'm noticing Five-Headed Dragon. Great instant fusion target. Of course, it's a secret rare, so I don't have a good chance. Of, I don't have too good of a chance. Epiria. If it's summoned, draw one card. You can only use the spike one per turn. Interesting. Um, gold Moon Coin. Add two cards from your hand to your opponent's hand and draw two cards. That's interesting. It's certainly something to think about. Uh, vision Heroes are in here. Fortune Fairies are in here. Tech Genus cards are in here. That's pretty cool. And then we've got some number Xyz monsters. I think uh, Dugare's The Timeless is actually not too bad, right? Detach two materials. Then uh, Once again, I, I should just hold off on reading cards until I actually get them. I could get Dragorubian from this set, which is a great rank 8. And then we've got some Battle Wasps in here, too. Ooh, Hama the Conquering Bow is pretty good. So maybe I could play some Battle Wasps. And then we've got... Avenger, ooh, BLS Soldier of Chaos is in this set. That's cool. Double-headed Anger Knuckle is cool. Cyframe Word Lam <clears throat> Lambda is pretty cool. Uh, ooh, Almirage. Oh, that's good to get if I can get it. Dark Sacrifice, Foolish Burials in here, Symbol of Friendship, more Vision Heroes. I could get my own Stratos. Um, ooh, wow, a lot of good stuff in here. Pancratops is a secret rare. Boral Sword Dragon? I could get a Boral Sword Dragon in here. I could get Cyberstein. Oh, I'm getting excited just looking through this. Oh my goodness. I could get... Oh, I thought that was Zeus for a second. That No, it's just Utopia Kaiser. <sighs> I could make this, actually. But let's get into it. Battles of Legend, Heroes, Revenge, 24 packs. Here we are, Battles of Legend, Heroes, Revenge, 24 packs. Let's go. Right off the bat, Drillfish is pretty cool because it can attack directly and then pop something. Uh, Squamata, as I established earlier, is pretty much just a good man-eater bug for me. And then we've got some Battle Wasp cards and Vision Fusion. Dang it, dude. Wham just had the perfect cards to counter my Fusion Monsters. Just had the perfect counter every time. It's quite unfortunate. But let's go ahead and see what spin it's like. Put the scary thing in my face. I promise next episode I won't. I won't be saying that. Mega Pack 2020. 24. Mega Pack 2020. Time Thief Redoer. That's a sick four I could go into. Destiny Hero Dominant. Be really fun if we get more E-Hero fusions in here. Neo Space Connector. Throw that in my deck or something, we'll see. Guard Dragon LP. Getting closer to Dragon Link every day. Desert Locusts. More Shadow cards I like to see in. Um, who knows, maybe I could play a low-key Shadow Strat. There's Cyframe Lord Lambda. Let's see what this does. So it can be made with any two monsters, which is pretty nice. And then I can use each of the following effects once per turn. The Psychic Monster I control is banished. Uh, not too applicable. Uh, not Yeah, he's not too applicable, but he's a generic link too, if nothing else. Then we've got Fortune Fairy Chi. What does Water of Life do? 
You control no monsters, target one monster in your graveyard, especially when in attack position. And then you can't do anything else except with this. Okay, that's pretty cool. Because, you know, my deck is pretty normal summon focused, so Water of Life could be a pretty good saving grace for me. There's Foolish Burial. So I can immediately fuel the Water of Life. Dragoonite Night Romulus. Another Redoer. Probably only going to play one. I mean, Redoer is really cool. To where I could argue the fact of putting two on. Is it generic? I think it is. It is just generic 2 level 4 to where I'll replace a couple of my other ones that aren't that good. Phantasma, that's pretty good for Hackdown. Guard Dragon Pitsy, Pisty, not Pitsy. Ashina is like a Cyber Dragon, but for defense position. There's Shadow Falco, what's this do? If it's, so flip, at a target a Shadow Special Summit in defense. Um, if it's sent to the graveyard, special summon in defense. Pretty cool. So this is even just a good, uh, good foolish burial target. And then dark sacrifice is also pretty good. So I can just negate an effect by sending a level three or lower dark monster from deck to grave, like Falco. So that's pretty sweet. Okay, there's Draglubion. Happy to see him, even though I can't really use him right now. Here's our first synchro monster of the entire series, and it's a big one. It's generic. It's a level 12 generic synchro. Battle Wasp, Ballista the Armageddon. What a name. If it's special summoned, I can banish all insect monsters from my graveyard, which I'll probably have none. All monsters my opponent currently controls lose 500 attack and defense for each. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. If it's synchro summoned, uh... Is destroyed by an opponent's card. It can special summon three of my banished level. Or, oh my goodness, this dude's huge. This dude might make playing an insect strategy worth it. Um, we are getting more battle wasps, which is nice. Summoning swarm's a good card, I think. Um, another pin the bullseye. I think that's actually my last one. Elemental hero, absolute zero. Um, there's All Eyes Phantom Dragon. What's he do? Um, looks generic. Once uh, It's a scale zero, which is pretty cool. Once per turn, at the end of a damage step, if your dragon pendulum monster attacked an opponent's monster, you can activate this effect. You can attack again in a row. You cannot declare attacks the turn you activate this effect except that monster. It cannot be normal summon set. Must be special summoned by triggering all monsters you control, including a dragon pendulum monster. And can only summon once per turn this way, once per turn during damage calculation. If it battles an opponent's monster, double this card's current attack until the end of the turn. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a bag crow, you can send one back where you control the grave, negate the activation. I like him, but I need more dragon pendulums to play him. There is another Falco, which is pretty nice. There's Herald of the Arclight, an interrupted kaiju slumber. Does this set have any kaijus in it? Or does it just have slumber? Yeah, it just has Slumber. So I have Slumber, but no Kaijus. That's kind of funny. There's Neo Snipe, which is pretty cool. Crimson Fox is another good send off of Foolish Burial, as is Shadow Beast. There's Dugare's the Timeless, and there's Almirage. Maybe I should have took the Alistair after all. Um, there's Hama. Good to see him. There's Vision Hero Trinity. There's Twinbow the Attacker. These are good at 10 teeth and 8. So I'll have to see if he's generic. Pot of Extravagance. Witchcrafter. Striker Dragon. I really am getting close to the Dragon Knight, bro. Yo, I got it! BLS Soldier of Chaos. This card is badass. Ah. Oh, I might be formulating. Ooh, there's Utopia Kaiser, which I could make. It's just two or more number monsters with the same rank that have material. Let's read its effect. Once per turn, you can special summon rank 9 or lower number monsters with 3,000 attack or less with different ranks from each other from your extra deck up to the number of materials with different names attached to this card. But their effects are negated and then detach one exceeds material from this card. For the rest of this turn, unless this effect was negated, you cannot special summon and any battle damage your opponent takes is halved. So this could be my way to cheat out Draglubion. So that's pretty cool. There's another BLS. Oh my goodness. 
Wow. There's Black Dragon Collar Serpent. That's pretty cool. And there's Iperia. An LB for the Romulus. Can we get anything interesting in the last pack? Got another Pisty. God, let's go through all these cards again. That's that. I'll get to editing my deck. Another Dark Sacrifice. Good for sending my shadows. There's a Ray without any of the Sky Striker link monsters. And there's Artifact Sight. It might be worth locking Evan out of his extra deck to play this. He's certainly trying to get more back. Oh, the last pack I got the Five Headed Dragon and the Wet Dragon Wyvern monster. Okay, so I'm thinking like Dragons with Future Fusion would be pretty cool. But I also want to play a Synchro based deck with the new Battle Wasps I got. But at the same time, I mean, Hama on, on its own is good as hell. Um, wow. A lot of choices to make, but I'm definitely adding that to the collection. All right, let's get to deck building. We got our deck here from the editions of the 2018 Mega Pack. So, so we have Neos, Lumber Senatrix, two Avium, two Rainbow Dark Dragons, three Neos Alias, three Stratos, three Prisma. Two Neospace Connectors, two Grand Moles, three King of the Swamp, two Predator Plant Fry Traps, three Hopper Squadrons, two emer e Emergency Calls, two Instant Fusions for Raijin here, because that's a Book of Moon effect. Fusion Recovery, you grab all these wells one monster that I use for fusions from the grave. Uh, two Giant True Nades to basically just get rid of any back row that is face up on Wham's side that's messing with some of my plays. O over Souls mainly going to be used to bring back Neos. Two Future Fusion, it's basically be for Rainbow Neos. Or something else, really. Not much. Or, I guess, Flame Wingman. Uh, fusion Gates to Fuse on the field, with what I've got. A Skyscraper for if I don't have some of these bigger ones out, and I need just to beat over. Uh, two Shared Signal will allow me to Special Summon from my deck or hand, if one's destroyed. Two bottomless trap holes. Uh, Compulse, Solemn Judgment, these are all just standard traps that are decent. We got a Elemental Hero Divine Neos, so we can finally make him. Two Rainbow Neos, Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon, First of the Dragon, Pride of Plants, uh, Chimera Reflesia, uh, Invoked Pregatrio, Flame Wingman, Invoked Ryzen, we got high speed riser here for the hot beer. We also got desert locusts if we have a massive card advantage on Wham. Like, if Wham only has one card, we'll probably bring out desert locusts to get to the grave. Uh, two time thief redoer and one burner visor. We got the third rainbow dark dragon if we want to see it more. The last giant tornado if I really need back row removal. Two super polys, future fusion, fusion gate, all if needed. Skyscraper, if I've noticed that I'm just stuck on the heroes a lot and can't get out my fusions. The remaining, t uh, there's two compulses and two solemns here, basically just to build that out. But yeah, that's pretty much the deck here. Well, after much deliberation, here is the deck. So, we still got Caius as just a really good tribute summon. I'm going to try to fool Evan with Artifact Sight. I feel like this might be like a one trick thing, but if it works, it works. And then we still got the Tufts, the Assailant, Warrior, Lady, and Warrior, all of which again can be searched out in Rota, as well as Exile, of course, Battle in, and uh, Battle Boxer Veil. They can also be searched out in Rota. But then we've added three Foolish Burial and four Shadal cards to the deck. The idea is activate Foolish Burial, send Hedgehog, search Falco. Now we have a level 2 tuner in our hand, or we can set this down, and then it'll revive Hedgehog for even more defensive capabilities. And then we're also playing Kala Serpent and Wyvern Buster, because we have a lot of darks and a lot of, and like a few lights in this deck. So they can also be free summons given the right condition. I just realized the only light in this deck is actually DD Warrior Lady, so I'm actually going to swap out well, aside from Wyvern Buster, of course, but I'm going to swap out the Call of Serpent for this copy of Squamata. 
and then that works better because if it's sent to the graveyard, I can search any shadow covered, or if it's flipped face up, I can man your bug. Spell and trap pool is mostly the same. We moved a lot of the banishing stuff to the side deck in favor of the Shadal strategy, which I'm interested in trying out. And then I also added three copies of Dark Sacrifice, which is essentially a negation for destruction, but it can also, but at the same time, it's also Foolish Burial for these four. And then for the extra, we got Five-Headed Dragon, because I have a little idea that seems interesting. And then we've also got one of each of the Synchro Monsters. I don't know if we're going to make these, but we have Tuners, we have Synchros, who knows, maybe there'll be a chance. And then this is the main point of the deck, these Xyz monsters. If I make any two rank 4 number Xyzes, I can make Utopia Kaiser. And then Kaiser can pull out cards like Draglubion. And that's about it. But Draglubion is still good. It's a 3000 attack beater that's also untargetable. Unfortunately, I don't think he'll have any material. Yeah, he won't have any material, so I won't get to use his effect, but that's not the part I'm worried about. And we've also got this rank 3 Shadow Lich to potentially make off of Hedgehogs if the case comes up. And of course the so cute boss to make off of Falcos and O-Lions in case that happens. Then we've got the BLS, which I can make with one of my level 5 or higher monsters and any other couple monsters, but I can also just make it with 3 monsters. Oh wait, that requires level 7 or higher. In that case, uh, shit, Destrudo, Destrudo would be good for this, except it lowers its level whenever I special summon. But you know what, this is still a 3000 attack rank 3 anyways. And it can still activate one of its effects when it destroys an opponent's monster by battle. So it's still good. And then in case I need different names, I can use like a Paleo or a lion token to make Link Spider, although I don't see how that would come up too much, but my extra deck space is not too tight. Um, as for other rank fours, we have Yara's the Timeless, which is absolutely great. He pretty much just helps me do a bunch of different things by skipping different phases and detaching materials. And then the extra deck, I have two different ways I can side deck. I can side deck in a future fusion strategy in case I want to try to make five headed dragon work, or I can side in the banish uh, cards again in case I think those would make me do better, like Duty Survivor, Grand Machu, and then all of these except for the future fusion, which of course is the five headed dragon strategy. I'm super interested to see how this deck turns out, and I can't wait to duel Evan. So let's get to it. All right, here we are again with the randomized progression. Let's see how things go. I'm very interested to see how this deck does against you, Evan. Yeah. All right. Well, looks like start. looks like I'm going first. Hell yeah. All right. Okay, this is interesting. I'm gonna start out by activating Foolish Burial. All right. I'm gonna send a monster be... from my deck to the graveyard. Could be structure deck, could be starter deck. Could be a couple things. I'm going to send Shadal Hedgehog, who, when he's sent to the graveyard by a card effect, I can search a Shadal monster. Okay, so you're doing some sort of Shadal engine here. Yeah. Whether it be small or your entire main deck, I don't know. So that means you could be playing Fright for something else, because I know they work pretty well with them. I'm going to search Shadal Falco, Rock uh -huh. Me Amadeus, and then I'm going to set a monster and set a couple of cards and pass. Alright. And we'll see how things do. Yes, we will. I think what I'm going to do is I'll start with Stratos here. Uh-huh, interesting. I thought you Activated might get back on effect. Stratos. I'll, I'll, let you, I'll let you get his effect. I'll grab an avian. Mm -hmm. You're going to go fusion gate again? I'll activate king of the swamp. Okay. King of the swamp's fine. There's your poly. You're getting a lot of hero stuff. 
I, I wonder if you open another hero set. That would be funny. If you're just like somehow destiny bound to heroes. Then why not play <laughs> destiny heroes? Because you limited them. No, I limited Stratos, Card Trooper, and Sidra. <laughs> destiny heroes are like the one of the few things from your first deck that I didn't limit. I know, it's funny. I just don't have a lot of Destiny Hero cards. You have a Do Diamond it. Dude and Disc Commander. <laughs> a single Disc Commander. A Priorata Disc Commander. Most people only played one Disc Commander back when that was popular. I like to make the Poly one up. Sure, go ahead. Fusion Summon, see if I care. First of the dragons. Okay, I was not expecting this. So it's you it can't be destroyed by battle except with a normal monster, and it's unaffected by other monsters' effects. That's very annoying to get rid of. That being said, I'm going to get rid of it. Yeah. I shall pitch. I shall pitch lightning vortex. Interesting. Now is this a squad of here? Is that, I think that's how you say. Whatever, we'll hit in. It we'll is my back. very own Falco who shall revive another Shadal monster. Which just happens to be Hedgehog. Yep. Okay. I guess we'll pass on that. I'm going to flip up Hedgehog, and then because a monster was summoned, including flip summons, I'm going to Torrential. Okay. And then because Hedgehog was sent to the graveyard by a card effect, I can search another Shadal. Yeah. And this time I will grab Squamata. Uh -huh. I'm going to banish Hedgehog from my grave to special summon White Dragon Wyvern Buster. Bottomless that. To your bottomless, I shall chain Dynamicious. Uh -huh. From there... I believe I'm going to normal summon my Squamata and proceed to get in for 3,000 if you let me. Yeah. Nice. Go ahead. Yeah, Alright, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, it turns out the Shadals make a pretty sweet package if you get Foolish Burial. This will set and pass here. Okay. I'm going to play my DD Warrior Lady. Oh my god, I just... Okay, whatever. Keep going. And I think she's going to get right I through your I just realized I misread this card a little bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> Neo Space Conductor, that could let you I... pull a Neo side of your deck, dude. I, mi I missed the word deck. Ah, yeah, that's, I that's the, the trouble. Hand and I'm like, mm, can't do that. And now he's going to get banished and you're going to take another 3k. Perfectly fine by me. If you say so. Just wait till you see the trap card I got called Life Point Reverse. It's gonna switch our life points. <laughs> Go ahead, play it. Do it now. Well, I have to set it. Then set it. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's life point reverse. Okay, you can activate it during my standby phase and you didn't play it, so I guess it doesn't exist. It doesn't activate during standby, it only activates during battle. Ooh. You know, this might be a funny... Like, I could kill you right now as is, but I think I'm going to take the first Synchro Summon of this series. Because I'm it's going great. to make Perfect. Battle it. Wasp, Hama the Conquering Bow. No, and then no. a line will get me a free token, because why not? Of course. First Synchro Summon goes to me. Hama, swing for game. Yes. Fuck your life point reverse. That doesn't exist. Fuck your Dynamicious. You always fucking have it. <laughs> if you have it at First. Okay. Go right ahead. This ain't much of a turn. I'll let you know. Oh, I'm going to have much of a turn. Don't you worry. I'm going to start by activating okay. Foolish Burial. Okay. Off the Foolish, I'm going to send a card. What card am I going to send? Hedgehog. 
Actually, I think I'm going to send Shadal Falco to special summon itself back immediately. Okay. It does get special set, though. I forgot about that part. Ah, shit. Um, I'm going to activate yet another Foolish Burial. This time for Hedgehog. No, there was a card I forgot to sign in. That's unfortunate. In that at case, least you always decided it in for round three. At least, in that case, I will send Hedgehog to search a Shadow monster. Uh -huh. I'm going to search another Falco. Yeah. Falco then I'm going oh. to set a card, and then I'm going to set a monster and pass. That is interesting. Yeah, this deck can be pretty defensive when it needs to be. Oh shit, there's Grand Mole. Uh, fuck him. Okay, Karma Cut. And then I'll get my free token off of the lion. Uh -huh. I want to hit into Falco here. Let's see. Um, so if the graveyard by card effect, it won't. Okay, so nothing will happen if I battle into it, other than the flip effect, which will then special one from grade. Yeah. In face down defense. What do you have in grade? Hedgehog. Like hedgehog. Okay, so it's just hedgehog. Which will then allow you to have one trap. You have your other face down that I don't know. There's your token. Hmm. Yep, you certainly have a few options. I could just whack into Falco, but obviously that gets you a hedgehog out and then allows you to surge when it flips up. Mm -hmm. Your face down could be one of the higher defense ones, but Potentially. I haven't seen you play them. So, I mean, I figured you'd have them if you're playing Stall, but. Maybe. Who says I'm playing stall? That is my Skumara. I will activate his effect and pop your Neos. That's enough to bring. Okay. I'll have to just pass on that then. Well, I'm gonna flip up my Falco. He's gonna reborn my Hedgehog. Okay. Er, no, wait! Ah, oh, I should have summoned back Skumara. I just realized I could have done something really cool. Damn it. Uh, Hedgehog it is, I guess. Er, I wouldn't be able to do it this turn anyways. Um, normal summon another Hedgehog. Okay. And we're gonna make Hama again. Yeah. To that I will change bottomless. Ah, shit. Okay. I'm gonna use my third Foolish Barrier. Send Hedgehog? <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't know what you're actually going to send here. Plenty of options. Yeah, I'm going to send my O-Lion to get the token. Okay. For defensive capabilities. Of course. And then I'm going to pass. I will activate. Oh! Shit. Uh, what I'm going to send your fusion out, though. Yeah, you have a few choices. You could go for Rainbow Neos. Rainbow Neos would then allow me to get field wipe capabilities, which is very nice. Oh, then it's also shit. high, but you could also stop it. Then I'm left with Neos in the grave. Wait, you revealed Rainbow Neos? No. Um, no, you revealed is. Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon. Yes. Let's see, do again. Let's return target one face at monster on the field, change its attack to zero. Has its effects negated? If it just uh, that's pretty good. It is pretty good, yeah. All right, um, I gotta think again. <laughs> A lot of thinking. Um, of course. I'll play my Falco. Thinking is just what. And I'll I'm flip doing. up my Hedgehog. Thinking. And this time I'm going to Link Summon, but I'm not gonna be summoning. I'm not gonna be summoning a tiny little Link Spider. No, this Link Summon is going to be cool. Meet my Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. Okay. I mean, it's not going to get most of its effects at the moment. No, it, it doesn't get the effect where it's it can't on be targeted. Monsters. Because, yeah, I didn't use any high-level monsters for it. But it's still a 3,000 attacker, if nothing else. It is. Go, my Black Luster Soldier. <laughs> oh, this card's so cool. I like this card. Alright, that's one turn on your future. future. Um, 
Now I am regretting something. Ooh, what are you regretting? <laughs> are you activating regretful rebirth? No, so oversoul. Oh, you're o oversoul. Okay. You're turning it into a Neos. Should I be I mean, scared? Not. He's just on the field. Cool name. I mean, it, that can be useful, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess you're gonna make... What? I don't know. Was that... Okay, you are making Rainbow Neos. Um, I'm gonna have to torch with you. Okay. That also gets rid of your BLS, which is nice for me. Although you that does... You would be able to get rid of it with Neos anyways. Of course, yeah. And now you're gonna get Greedy Venom. Yes, I am. I was gonna save the Tarantula for him, but I needed to get rid of I, I should have just saved the Tarantula. That's a lot. Uh, hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll just, I'll just hit him. Yeah, that's 33. And then pass. I need a Sakuretsu armor or something. Damn it. He can, he shall receive. <laughs> yeah, maybe just don't attack just to be safe. 100%. 100%. Say, don't attack. I don't listen. <laughs> yeah. Understandable. Have a nice day. Aha. Whatever it summons, it does play in defense. Of course, yeah. But that will allow me to bring out a Neos here. Mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and activate King of the Swamp to grab a Polly. Ah, oh, shit. I'll enter the battle phase. A pack with Connector, because why not? Mm -hmm. And then now? What if we just pass? Because the odds of that being Sakuretsu armor are not good. I only have it's one. It's not good, but it is a back row. So I will. <laughs> I'm playing around with Sakuretsu. Suddenly you're scared of back row. Okay. I've always There's been scared of back row. One. There's another Keep one. My future Be monsters have no protection. There's another one. Be afraid. No. What if I do something really funny? What? I will do something really funny. Why not? Hop Ear Squadron. Hop you get Ear Squadron for the second Synchro 7. Let's now, the see. second Synchro Summon was me playing Hama again. This is the third Synchro Summon. You're not special. Eh, why would I care? Go ahead, discard your last pathetic card. Oh, my Destrudo. Oh no, now you can activate it next turn and pay 300 life points. <laughs> if I had a monster. That is true. I could also use its effect from my hand if I had a monster, but I digress. What are the odds of that being near force? <laughs> What are the odds of it being near force? I oh, suddenly you're not scared anymore? Well, for your information, it was Sakuretsu. Yeah. And then, yeah, I, you discarding that Destrudo pretty much killed me. You're first. Okay. I'm gonna set a card, set a monster, pass. All right. Now set to normal Prisma and enter the battle phase. Yep, you're going to hit my Falco. Okay. And unfortunately, there's no other Shadala in my grave for him to bring back. It's true. I'll pass on that. During the end phase, I'm going to dust Tornado, whatever this is. My hero signal. Okay. Probably the better of the two targets for you to hit. I'm gonna cold wave here. Okay. That's interesting. Just so I can secure the idea of getting rid of that prism. Of course. Let's see what I draw. That is a nice card. Oh shit. Grab Stratus, let's see, who do I want to search? Yes, I will grab a Prisma. Hmm. 
That's a good one. And now I just hit him because I can't activate any spells or traps because Foley. Yep. And now, whoa, we can activate Cold Blade stuff now. Or not Cold Blade stuff, we can activate spells and traps now. I'm going to brain control your Stratos. What if I don't want you to do that? Okay. 4k to my face. That's a pretty hefty cost. I will pass. Strudo equivalent. I'll normal summon out Prisma here. Uh huh. I'm going to do myself something pretty cool. Time, Time Thief, Thief Redoer, Redoer here. Indeed. You got Time Thief Redoer? Oh, fuck. This might just fuck me. I'm going to activate Instant Fusion. Oh, shit. Um, at least it won't be able to attack, I don't think. Yeah. It will not be able to attack to where I'll just activate its Book of Moon effect now. Right, so you can it doesn't save destroy it in the end phase. And then I will hit in because I can save myself its back room. Alright, I'm going know. to use my Battle and Boxer Veil, Dual Link Oops. Staple, to regain the life points you just took from me. Put him in defense. It's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. In phase two. I'll just set one of the bats. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get a call. Yep, let's see what you get. I catch the top from the deck. What am I stealing from you? You took my. I took uh, my one. It's a nice grab. And then now, I can activate the effect where I can make a card that's on your deck, or card you control go to the top of that deck. That's I can not, speak English, I pro I promise. It's not favorable, I think you might take this round. Damn it, there's the Raijun. I'm going to activate Fusion Gate. Yep. What are you Fusion Gate? Activate to Fuse. Oh no. Okay. That's interesting. Um... She's rising. Excuse me? <laughs> for, a, for a second, I thought it let me go into something else, but clearly my brain was not working properly. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, why not? I'll just go ahead. Attack Batlin Boxer. Attack with Ryzen. Mm -hmm. For Falco. Main phase two. Just pass. And you got another thing. Let's see what I steal. You got a MST. spell card. You got MST. Okay. I'm that gonna would play me Spiral to Tough. And I'm gonna try to get rid of your time thief. Uh no. Yeah, I figured. My book of that. moon. It's just a book of moon every turn. Oh my goodness. It I is. feel like I, I'm I, I haven't surrendered yet because I feel like there might be some way I could get out of this. I just don't control. know what that way is, but I'll hold out. Mm -hmm. I'll hold out until I know I'm complete. I'll activate Fusion Gate here. That's not good. Where are you going to make another Raijin? No. This time it's first of the dragon. Okay. Now I think I'm. Well, I still don't want to give up yet. Or do you have the what I'm going to do here is I want to activate Time Thief Redoer. And Wait. draw a card. Yeah, I'll draw one. Put the MST back in the grave. Okay, that's mm -hmm. not the best draw, but like, it's whatever. I'll okay. hit with first of the dragons. And tier spiral tough here. Why not Raijin? It has the least attack. Because I forgot that it was tough. Not gonna yeah. lie. Well, I have 800 left. You have 800 left. It's my last chance. Let's see what you do with it. Yeah, that's not gonna save me. Okay. What'd All you right. get? Uh, not gonna say. You'll have to see in the episode. All right. All right, well, you get to choose something from my pools, and I get to limit something from your deck. 
So I'm going to send you my draft. It was Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge, by the way. It has a lot of good stuff. I got the 2020 Megaton. Oh, shit. Okay, that explains the time thief redoer. Yeah. Which, funny enough, had some like cards I could put into a Heroes deck in there. All right, well, there's my draft, Heroes Revenge. Okay. You get to copy any one card from it and add it to your card pool. I got some pretty sweet stuff. I can already think you might want the Five-Headed Dragon because that's a great uh, future fusion target, especially for the pre rod Just dump any five dragons. That's true. So that's a good future fusion target. And that's what I was trying to do in round two, actually. That's why you saw the Destrudo, because I added dragons from my side deck to the main to try to make future fusion five-headed work. It did not work. You got Almirage as well. Yeah, I got Almirage. You also got Neos Knight if I wanted to stay in Elemental Heroes, but... That is you true. You could take Neos Knight. You could also take Vision Hero Trinity, which can be made with any three hero monsters. Yep. And then Absolute Zero as well, because that's any hero monster. And then basically, King of the Swamp, but... Yeah. Or no, you can't... Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, yeah, because it's a water. Yes. Let's see. You could also take High Speed Roid Rubber Band Shear. Sky Striker Ray. That's funny because since we have structure decks in here, Sky Striker is actually not going to happen in the future. Yeah. Hmm. Other good options. Um, you do have some Shadal cards, so you could just like pick a Shadal that you need to complete a playset. The only have... issue with that is I only have like two Shadal cards. I don't have enough to actually play the deck. Oh, that's true. I was I was mostly just playing an engine of like two Hedgehog, two Falco, and Squamata. Uh, Unfortunately, none of the Battle Wasps are good on their own. You might want to take Vision Hero Vion, actually. That might be a good choice for you. Uh, you mean Trinity? No, Vision Hero it's Vion. A... Oh, is he but... a normal monster? Or not normal, but... He's an a effect monster. monster. If it's normal or special something, you can Armageddon Knight, any hero monster. And then once per turn, you can also banish a hero from your grave to search Polly. Ooh, that's, that's also really good. So it might but limit your need for future. I, I don't know exactly which one. Deck where I don't know if I want to take a card for hero. Especially if I can get a set with some of these hero cards in the future. Right. I can go for five-headed dragon for future fusion sake. Because, once again, 5,000 beater. Well, then but it, but has this, what's your... it has the same issue with all my fusion monsters. There's no protection whatsoever. What's your dragon pool even like? I have some decent ones. Okay, because, like, you need good dragons. Like, uh, because I picked up White Dragon Wyvern Buster and Black Dragon Collar Serpent, funny enough, I only got one of each. Um, that, yeah. those two, like, made me feel comfortable playing that strategy, even though it ended up not working. Yeah, you know what's funny about Five-Headed Dragon? I could literally just <laughs> throw five Rainbow Dragons into a deck. That would be oh my goodness. Very foolish of me. Speaking literally of, what I'm, speaking what of I'm foolish, between... Speaking of foolish, it might not even be bad to pick up a foolish fairy. That is why right now the five cards I am looking at is Foolish, All Mirage, Five-Headed Dragon, Trinity, or Vile. Hmm. I don't think I want Trinity that much. You also still need to look at Absolute Zero, because you can make that with any hero in King of Swamp. I can. And that destroys, that is a field life, but... Yeah, if it leaves, if it not even if it's destroyed, if it leaves the field, so you can even, like, compulse it back or something like that, and it'll yeah. wipe the board, wipe my board, your board will be safe, actually. Yes. It's definitely the this best is... of the hero plus attribute fusion monsters. It definitely is. To where in, I'm definitely, I definitely take it over Trinity because Trinity's three hero monsters. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This is it's five cards. So. You know what? I'm taking out foolish. I. It does. We'll see. Okay. Uh, five headed dragon is really good. Well, it but has no effect not, protection. It has, it, has, it has no effect protection other than it can't be destroyed by dark or water. That's not even effect. Yeah. 
with yeah. battle. But yeah, and you're not if you have a five thousand attack body, are you really worrying about it being destroyed by battle in general? Yes. Uh not. Honestly, I'm thinking I'm between absolute zero and all mirage. They're both yes. pretty good. My only thing is is that mm. how many monsters do you normal summon that have a thousand or less attack? Like it's a good link, but a lot of your normal I mean, summons, yeah. from what I've seen, are like Prisma, Stratos, stuff like that. Let me check something real quick. I feel like a lot of your normal summons just have more than a thousand attacks. So I think your best bet's probably absolute zero. That's the that one. That is I'd, what I. That's thinking. that's what I'd pick in your position, anyways. Yeah, I'll just take absolute zero. Why not? All right, and now. So what are you going to hit? Well, I'm going to look at the current limits. So the only limit one card is DD Survivor. The limit two cards are Bottomless and Karma Cut. And the limit three cards are Sidra, Stratos, Card Trooper, Defy, Time Seal, and Macro. I definitely think I want to hit more of your prominent hero cards. Because, like, that shit's just insane. Um, I gotta think. I mean, you literally can just destroy my entire deck by limiting three three more monsters. Right. And that's what I'm thinking about. Like, I definitely think I can hit King of the Swamp and Prisma because those are also really huge. And m making it so that you can only one run, run one... Run, I can't speak. Run a single King of the Swamp, a single Prisma, and a single Stratos in the same deck. That does sound quite ideal, but then I can also limit one more card. That's where the difficulty starts to come in, because you have a lot of cards I can limit. Like, I might just straight up limit Dimensional Prison, because that's been a... Well, actually, I haven't seen you use that as much. Maybe you took it out? I don't know. I gotta think what other cards you use that, like, really got on my nerves this round. The three cards I'm limiting are Prisma, Time Thief Redoer, and King of the Swamp. So now all of those are at limit three as well. Yep. I do have two redoers, so if I was running them in the deck, I would have to maybe choose only one. Right. And now you can't play Stratos, Prisma, and King of the Swamp in the same deck without taking re without taking out Redoer. Because Redoer, yeah. that card is extremely powerful. And I, as you saw, I could just not deal with that at all. When you summoned that, that was a complete game ender. So I what? think getting rid of the Redoer, potentially, from your deck is quite helpful. You could also just go back to playing the Satellar Knights, which can also make Redoer pretty well. But at least this way, I can put you off of Heroes, put you off of Rainbow Neos, and put you off of a lot of those powerful fusion monsters, potentially. That's true. So with that, I think that's going to wrap up this episode. We'll see how next episode goes. So, of course. thanks for watching. Have a nice day.